Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by another No BS Social Media Chat. Today we're talking about two things well, that none of us want to think about, none of us want to talk about. But there are things that are, well, actually okay if you take it all in perspective. We're talking about failure and rejection. It's tough when you put out that, that Facebook friend request to somebody who's been a part of your life and they never react to it. It just kind of gets deleted. It goes away. They, they reject you, basically. It's tough, but let's be real here. Does it really matter? Does it really matter if you connect with that old high school boyfriend, girlfriend, if you connect with somebody you went to school with, somebody you once worked with, somebody you admire? I know your ego says it matters, but it doesn't really matter because the bottom line is if they don't want to connect with you, well, why would you want to connect with them in the first place? If they don't want to reciprocate this relationship, that's the one thing about social media. So many people are consumed with the numbers. We talked about that obsession with numbers last week. So many people are consumed with the numbers. They're not looking at the reality of it doesn't matter how big the number is. It matters how good the number is. You know, the amount of likes, the amount of friends, followers, fans you have isn't as important as the ones that you truly have a connection with. Just because somebody likes your page on Facebook doesn't mean they really care to interact with you. In fact, they can like it and now hide it, and other than seeing the numbers in a stat column, you'll never know who that is, why that is, and number one, why they liked you and rejected you. I get people constantly sending me like my Facebook page requests, and I ignore them because I'm not going to be cruel and like them and then hide them. Because if I really want to be engaged with your page, I'll engage with your page. But I think what we're talking about today is we're talking about that, well, rejection that failure with whatever you do. Let's say you put a video like this together and you go out there and you say, man, it's going to be a viral video, it's going to be huge, it's a great concept, and you put it out there and nobody watches. Okay, it's failure, I guess. It's rejection, I guess. But again, in the big scope of things, does it really matter? No. Because you can try again. And I think that's the important part with failure and rejection is don't let it stop you, don't let it paralyze you, just give, let it give you a reason to look at it and say, okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? And what can I do the next time? You know, there's some people who will just you know, go out there and, and give it to them all, and when it doesn't happen, it doesn't grow, they'll just throw their hands up, give up, and walk away. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Go back to episode, what, one, two, three. It was right in there. This is a long-term relationship building, not relationship creating, but relationship building platform. Social media is truly at the core about building relationships, about building connections, and, and all relationships aren't the same. So if you're going to succeed, every relationship is going to be different. So don't look at any particular episode, any particular piece of content, any particular anything you do on social media as rejection or failure. Look at where it did work. Look at why other things worked better and work with that. I know it's simple. None of us want to be rejected. None of us want to fail. But failure is a good thing. I actually saw this in reference to um, the, the guy who was quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles this year. He's a second-string quarterback, but actually got well, he was drafted by the Rams, got dropped by the Rams, and now he's a second-string quarterback. He ends up winning the Super Bowl. And he said it was, that, it was that failure that helped motivate him to do great things. It was that failure that knowing that even though he won the Super Bowl, he could go back to being a second-string quarterback again. You seize your opportunities when you get them. You make the best of them. You do the best you can. But don't let failure or rejection paralyze you. It's not a good look, and it's not good for you. And trust me, when it comes to social media at the end of the day, does it really matter that much? How much do you pay for that Instagram profile? How much do you pay to be on Twitter? Sure, you may pay for equipment to do videos on YouTube, but you didn't pay for the privilege. Back next week, another No BS Social Media Chat. NoBSSocial.com, our website where you find all the videos. We have, them on web, we have them on web. We have them on YouTube. We have them on Facebook as well. Again, wherever you watch this week, I hope you come back and do it again next week. My email address, my phone number, if you ever want to chat, you ever want to connect, they're going to appear at the end of the video. Thanks so much. Have a great week.